Good day and welcome back to another Blue Archive video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at team building, who to pick, and basically how to maximize your tactical challenge teams. Now tactical challenge is a seasonal game mode. It is the PvP game mode for Blue Archive. Obviously you have to build a defense team and you have to build a offensive team but honestly to be honest it's like the same functionality for both sides of the coin in terms of team and general formation what you're looking for generally speaking is you're looking for two tanks two single target dps in terms of special you're looking for either a defensive support one that will mitigate crowd control or you're looking for an offensive support like one that will augment your damage generally speaking healers are also okay but not mandatory having a healer helps for sure having a healer that boosts your attack far more helpful so it's definitely definitely something that is much much better uh, and i think having that attack support is more crucial so we'll talk about units and stuff in the next sections but like I said generally speaking like on a functional point of view you want to have two tanks ideally one of the tanks has a taunt it's much more preferable and you want to have single target DPS you also want to aim to have low EX cost skills generally as this is going to enable you to burst down the opposition a lot more than if you don't have low EX cost skills like I said, on the special side, we're looking more for attack-based supports or units that will provide cover or allow for interruption of the opposition. So stunning, CC, etc. You want to try and avoid units that have reposition skills because PvP is done on auto. Repositioning skills are not as useful as they could potentially be under other, you know, functionalities you're not going to actually get as big a functional usability out of repositioning because you can't manually control where it goes so you end up kind of actually being gimped or like almost uh, infringed upon by using reposition skills or characters that need high manual involvement it's one of the reasons why aoe is not really preferred because you don't want skills that you have to aim to maximize small cones or small fans up more than fine but generally speaking you don't want to have to aim skills now on the dps striker kind of situation um you know mainly for strikers we're looking for things like mika we're looking for things like iori we're looking for things like shun you know these are generally good choices hasumi hasumi track is fine you can also take a unit like kayoko although her CC is maybe a little bit too expensive. But generally speaking, you're looking predominantly for single target DPS, characters that have low cost abilities, characters that don't need enablers outside of just pure attack buffs. These are going to be your number one signs. Mika is a great unit for this reason. So yeah, generally speaking, that's kind of where you want to go with it and who you want to focus on. Of course, there's tons of great single target DPS, so you can choose whichever one. DPS is probably the easiest section due to the fact that you basically just want to pick a single target. Single target, low cost EX, decent damage, you're good to go. Hanako swimsuit, etc. Very, very good units. All really solid stuff. Obviously, on the other side of the coin, we're looking at tanks. So when we talk tanks, generally speaking, units like Yuka, uh, Subaraka, Aimi, Miyako, Raisa, all really, really good tanks. A lot of the times, the tanks generally that will do the best for you are going to be tanks with taunts. Subaraka needs a bit of work, quite a bit of investment, but she's a good free-to-play option, same as Yuka. But any tank that can take hits, boosts health, provides a shield, 
or a taunt, these are generally good choices. Again, low cost EX, preferable. Being able to tank and taunt, preferable. The reason taunting is the reason taunting is so important is because, like I said, the game's on auto. If you have a low cost taunt, it will force the damage from the opposition to be focused. Even if it's brief, because they're likely to take your tank out quite quickly, it's a very good situation to be in. Units like Racer, units like Aimi, units like Miyako, these units benefit a lot because they also have stuns, they have abilities to heal, they have reduced crowd control effects. These are also good mechanics to have and mechanics that can help you overall in terms of doing your best in PvP. Again, choose what works for you. This is just suggestions to give you an idea of what to go with and what I personally find works. But it's not to say that these are the be-all and end-all. Then we talk specials. Now again, specials, general rule of thumb, attack supports, units like that. Okay, Healers, not generally necessary. They do help, but they're not necessary. Nadoka's from Hot Springs definitely helps out. Really quite helpful. I would definitely say she could work out. Uh, then, of course, you also have Shiroko Swimsuit. Uh, also really, really solid. Just very, very helpful overall. Again, another unit that just provides you with a lot of really, really good stuff. Generally, Hamari and Yui, which are the great PvE like supports, like Yui from a striker point of view, Hamari from a special point of view, not units that you need. Their EX skills are their big buffers, and those are going to be completely random. So those could be placed in your tank, and then you're, you're like done. So generally those units that have EX skills that are their primary buff aren't too great. You'll find units like Katama generally preferred over them. Utaha is very interesting. You need her bond item but she spawns turrets. These turrets cause a huge problem for the game's AI that makes her very good in a PvP situation. So Utaha, very good, very nice for PvP because of the way she disrupts the opposition's AI causes a lot of problems and just the general buffs she provides. So Utaha, probably one of the ones uh, you know, I would point out. But yeah, that's basically it, honestly speaking. Um, really not too much else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you need any more help. But yeah, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it and bye.